Miss, you alright? Oh, I'm fine, thanks. Oh, Mr. Collins. We've arrived. Mr. Scott and Mr. Barker have been waiting for you. Mr. Collins? Jake Collins? Kate had an idea. Hey, Mr. Collins. Hi, I'm an employee of Scott Enterprise. Look, there's a matter for which I really need to contact Mr. Burke's secretary. But my phone's flat, so there's no way for me to contact them. Can you please let me inside? Jake gazed at her pleading eyes and his body trembled. Saving someone is more meritorial than building churches. Come inside with me. It would be fine as long as she could safely hide until the end of the event, which meant that she would have accomplished her end of the bargain between them. She could then get a divorce. Today is my last day at the hotel. I have just signed the last business deal for this hotel. I would like to thank Mr. Scott for giving me the opportunity. It's thanks to you we had an opportunity to make a profit, Mr. Burger. Mr. Scott, you deserve all the opportunity from me. Tonight, I'd like to tell you all a story. Please turn on the projector. I'm so sorry, Mr. Burke, I got caught up with something. Um, here's your little contract. Oh, please don't be sorry. This hotel's closing down. We are the ones who need a favor. Well, here is your offer letter from the bank. Mr. Scott's bank is offering me a loan. What happens if we run out of money? Well, we had to have a week to review your application. We had to assess the hotel's reputation and performance. I'm so sorry I wasn't here earlier. I had to go back to uh, Houston for my husband's birthday, but I'm here now and here you go. So I've got my hotel. Well, thank you. Nice working with you. It was wonderful working with you, Sue. <laughs> Not a problem, Mr. Burke. Well, that's great. Good work with everything, okay? Well, I thank you too. Ronald stared at Kate's bleeding arm as the video froze on her. He remembered his birthday. Two years ago. That girl saved my hotel. Mr. Scott, you probably don't remember that girl. She was one of your many employees. Mr. Scott's bank was the only bank to offer me a loan. All the other banks had refused. Emily knew that Kate had gotten that wound on her arm when she had pushed her into the middle of the road two years ago. Ronald had no idea about the accident and seemed to lose interest in Kate around that time. Mr. Scott undeniably helped my hotel, but that employee, without doubt, made the Gavin Burka Hotel through and through. Therefore, Mr. Scott's bank cannot take all the credit. But on a lighter note, ladies and gentlemen, because it's so wonderful to see you all here today because it's been a real pleasure. I'm quite surprised you had a video of me like that. Thank you for remembering me. We should be thanking you. If you should ever need any help in the future, just let me know. Mr. Burker, Mrs. Burker. Tricks are getting better, Kate. I don't want any problems at this party. Well, you didn't exactly specify where we can get divorced in this place. <laughs> so you demand a divorce on the one hand, and plan to arrive with Gavin on the other? If this is in some way of trying to get my attention, I don't know what is. I don't know where Gavin got that video from, and I don't know why he played it here. 
since you are here. Follow me and why don't we show these wonderful people just how capable you are as my wife. <laughs> since you don't care about getting embarrassed anymore, I don't see why I should be worried. She knew that Ronald wanted to embarrass her. She knew that she was never supposed to be a place like this. She wanted him to see that she was a different woman now. Not the doormat with no voice he had known all these years. Kate. Is that all you could find to wear? How embarrassing. Embarrassing? Isn't it embarrassing cozying up to someone's husband? You know, you always did blame Ronnie for not wanting to bring you to events like this, but... Look at you. Who would want to bring you and be embarrassed? Kate was wise enough to know that Emily could not start a fight if she said nothing. Did you just walk away from me? Listen. I have a deal with Ronald that if I can make it through the night without making any trouble, then he will sign the divorce papers. And that's what she wanted, wasn't it? So let's just get through the night without having any trouble. Okay? Nice try. Kate! Ugh. You didn't need to do that. You know, it's no wonder Ronald brings me to these events and not you. You always do cause such a scene. Kate looked up and saw Ronald standing with a glass of whiskey calmly in his hand. He looked at Kate with a sarcastic smile dawning upon his face. Kate's eyes met his and they both knew Ronald had just won the bet. Keep following us as we release new episodes of The Divorce Story Daily on YouTube. You can jump the queue and unlock all episodes of the audio series by installing the Pocket FM app now. Just click on the link in the description.